Massachusetts shelter system could hit its limit tomorrow, and if it does, unhoused parents and children will be placed on a wait list. As WBZ's Tammy Mutasa shows us, private charities may have to step up to fill the gaps. Time is running out in this migrant crisis. Now the state is reaching out to churches and community groups for help. They're bracing for an influx of families with no place to go. We are very concerned and we are very worried. As the state is dangerously close to hitting its shelter capacity, organizations like Immigrant Family Services Institute are concerned starting as early as Wednesday, there won't be many options to help migrant families. Very, very concerned about all of those families who are coming every day to our doors. We're talking about pregnant women. We're talking about with children. The state shelters hold 7,500 people. And right now, we're just 44 away from reaching that number. After that, families will end up on a wait list. If nothing else, you know, he's done, we're going to go back to square one. Tell families with nowhere to go. All those volunteers who have stepped up in this time of great need. We could not do this without them. Governor Healy's newly appointed emergency assistant director says a United Way program will now kick in $5 million to local churches, schools, and community groups for short term overnight shelter. We know the winter is coming, and we share deeply the concern about families being left out in the cold. But organizations like the International Institute of New England say they're bracing for the fallout when the capacity hits the limit. In states that don't have a right to shelter law, there are people who sleep in police stations and who just sleep in public areas that are warm and that are dry. Um, and that seems to be where we're headed. Officials say local groups will be able to apply for funding to become a safety net shelter site through the United Way later this week. In Boston, Tammy Machasa, WBZ News. Tammy, thank you.